Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? So, well, I'm trying to drive this little thing. As you can see, we're not in a Mustang or no. the Impala or the Sebring or any of those cars. We're looking to buy another car because yeah. five just isn't enough. And this That's one's awesome. electric, so it's very green. Yeah, it this is. is Bruce Hammy's little studio cart, and so we're driving around the studio in it. Bruce Hammy's a camera guy, works with Roger Deakins and yeah. Reed Smoot and some of these guys. But as he is Roger Deakins' camera person, that means that he was on Skyfall, uh -huh. he was on uh, Shawshank Redemption, he just signed up to do the new Blade Runner movie. Wow. And that's why he's selling this. He needs something better for Blade Runner because this this one's passe. No, it's just it's it's you know, it's last year's this model. Is, this is fun yeah. It's you know, so he just wants something nicer if you're yeah, gonna be nicer doing a movie like Blade Runner, you got to get something nicer. But this is the one they used on Skyfall. It was on Skyfall for seven months, driving mm -hmm. the camera equipment around. And right. they had a camera dolly mounted in the back, and they used it that way. So it's been all over the world making wow. that movie. So it's kind of cool, it's and we're kind of cool. looking at it buying means, the thing. Yeah. We thought for today's show, we would, in fact, go cruising around Hollywood and look at some of the Hollywood stuff, just some of the fun touristy, and sometimes mm -hmm. less touristy, but mostly touristy things that you can look at here in Hollywood. Right. And that should be a good deal That'd of fun. That'd be fun. That would be fun. And it is, after all, supreme screwing around because filmmaking is supreme screwing around. Exactly. Your light screen. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Watch the cars. <laughs> So Hollywood is part of Los Angeles. It's the cool part of Los Angeles. It's over at the big Hollywood sign on the Santa Monica Hills. Now, I've been messing around in Hollywood for a long, long time. I taught at film schools for over 30 years. This is me teaching at Brooks Institute in Ventura. Now, Hollywood is rather touristy because everybody loves to go to the movies, and then that means you like to go to Hollywood to see where the movies are made. This is Grauman's Chinese. You probably recognize this, Grauman's Chinese Theater on the corner of Hollywood and Highland. It's been there for a long, long time. Silent movies used to premiere here, and films still premiere here. It's now part of the Hollywood and Highland Complex, which includes the Kodak Theater, where the Academy Awards are broadcast from every single year. Now, one of the most famous aspects of Grama's Chinese is the hand and footprints in the cement out in front of the theater. It's been a tradition for a lot of decades that at premieres, the actors will put their handprints and footprints in the cement out in front of the theater. Now, people have been sticking their name and their hand and their footprints into cement. I believe it was Augustus Caesar who first did that in about the first century B.C. But it's a long-standing tradition that whenever there's wet cement around, you have to go screw around with it and write your name in it and maybe stick your face in it and whatever the heck else you feel like doing. Here's me sticking my feet in Will Smith's footprints and... Karen sticking her feet in Gregory Peck's footprints. How cool is that? <laughs> now, there's a lot of other fun craziness that goes on around the Hollywood and Highland complex. One of the lesser known is this restaurant, Yamashiro's Restaurant on the hill just above Grauman's Chinese Theater. It's actually a Japanese temple, or it looks like a Japanese temple. It has a commanding view of Hollywood in downtown Los Angeles in the distance. It was actually built as someone's house. In 1911, the Bernheimer brothers started this little cottage home for themselves, cost them three million dollars, but they were really into Japanese culture and Japanese antiques, and well, they thought this would be a really cool place to live. In the late 1920s, it became the Hollywood 400 Club. You had to be one of the top 400 producers in Hollywood in order to be a member. And today, it's a restaurant. Well, let's get back down to the Hollywood and Highland Complex. This is the Elephant Plaza. It was constructed here to commemorate 
a large movie set that was built on this location in 1916. It was, in fact, the largest movie set ever built at that time for D.W. Griffith's film Intolerance. To this day, it's one of the largest movie sets ever constructed. Uh, the film went bust, and the city of Los Angeles had to pay to tear the set down. Now, here we are tootling around over at the Warner Brothers studio. It's open to the public, and they let you go in there if you pay a certain amount of money. And inside, they have the Batman Museum. Warner Brothers has made all of the Batman movies, those incredible darn Batman movies. They have costumes and props from all of the Batman movies, and they have every single Batmobile and Bat contrivance except for the very, very first Batmobile from the old TV series in the 1960s. They have a lot of other really cool things that you can see at the studio. Now, they wouldn't let us take any pictures of the current TV sets, but we could see some of the older TV sets, and they'd let us take pictures. This is, of course, the set from Friends, and they'd let us go in there and, in fact, take pictures of that. Now, this fun area here is the prop department. They have all of these cool props and stuff that they've used in all these movies over, geez, almost 100 years, and they rent them to other studios and other people, they even have the crystal chandeliers from Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Somehow I've I've turned on the wipers. That's that's not it. How do you how do you turn it off? Okay, you don't pull. Oh, was it a twist? No, it's not a twist. What did you do? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> See, they put that on all vehicles. It's the dumb guy control. You turn it on, it goes, dumb guy, dumb guy, dumb guy. And then you can't find a turn it off switch. But I found the turn it off switch. <laughs> Jeez Louise, it takes a little getting used to all new vehicles. And this one is no uh, exception. Especially that big vehicles. <laughs> But this is the perfect thing for knocking around the studio like this because it's cool, even though it has a dumb guy switch here. And uh, it's connected to the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a problem, but I, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Hold on, put me behind the wheel. Oh, jeez. So this is, in fact, screwing around. All kinds of filmmaking and rattling around the studio is, in fact, screwing around. That's why people are always trying to break into the studio so that they can go over there and screw it's around. A fun place to hang and they out. have to have guards who spend their whole that's day right. screwing around yep. because that's what they do. And people like me to get caught with the alarms set, and I'm going yeah. into the ladies' room and trip off all the alarms after hours. Absolutely, it's okay, just, but it's uh, fun. Geez. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's filmmaking. I use a code. <laughs> filmmaking is fun, and it's all examples of screwing around, and we're having a grand time doing it. Mm. And so we may just have to buy this little thing yeah, just to just screw to around with fun. because right. it's. It's, it's an enormous fun. amount of fun. Yeah, getting used to electric vehicles. I guess we're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming well, up. if if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why? Why subscribe? <laughs> Blue button popping in right now. See it? Boink. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit that. You are now subscribed. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. <laughs> because it really isn't boring. No, no. And we will see you here again next week with some more significant screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.